Welcome back to my channel, Chris Ellis RC. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a plastic bottle RC airplane out of this water bottle. Let's get into the build. This is a plastic bottle I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using three of these uh, plastic bottles to make the fuselage. Uh, I've already assembled the fuselage already and also the rudder and the horizontal stabilizer. And this is it right here. I used three of those plastic bottles I showed you and this was from a, a built that I had built a couple months ago and uh, I used for parts so the rudder was still good and also my elevator so I took the parts and I used on this plastic bottle so as you can see um, I used three of those bottles and I used packing tape to hold them together so for my electronics I'm gonna be using two 9 gram servos this 1300 milliamp battery and 20 amp ESC my receiver and this 2100 kV motor that I bought in Buddy RC and also a prop my wing it's gonna be from a cheetah this was from a glider I took it off and as you can see I glued the wings together using a hot glue and I'm just gonna this is pretty much an experiment guys so I'm gonna see how well this works if there's too much flexing I'm gonna have to probably put a carbon fiber spar right there or a wooden dowel whichever one but I'm gonna fit the electronics put the electronics together see how well this flies and if it does success I already did my my cutouts right here my markings for where I'm gonna put my barbecue skewers so you can use that to hold your wing on the fuselage right there so that's what I'm gonna be using I also um, for the motor see so yeah, I've had already drilled my holes right in the, the cap so all I have to do is screw the cap on screw it on on the bottom and it won't go on come on come on come on come on baby all right there we go so while the cap is on so that should hold my motor in place on the fuselage so that's on should be like that right, so that's good all right so now I'm gonna be mounting my servos I'm gonna be gluing on um, my servers right here. Like so. I've I've already sent them my, my servos using a server tester right here this is very handy comes in handy so always want to center your servos before you install them on your aircraft so that is cheap come in handy you can find them on Amazon I'll be I'll be king and any hobby shop should carry a, a servo tester you can use to center your servos and test your servos if they're working 
properly. All right guys, so I've installed my two servos and let's check them out with the servo server tester. So I'll plug in my, my server right here. This one is for my elevator. This one is for my rudder. So right now they're all centered. So let's put it in manual, move them around. See? Well, let's do this first. I'll unhook one servo. The elevator. Let's check the rudder. So we have rudder movement right here. and I'll move it to the left and I'm gonna put it back to see if our to see if our servo is centered. So let's go. See? And there you go. It's centered right there. So let me unhook the rudder and plug in the elevator. So let's put the elevator in manual and let's move it around. We have elevator movement right there. And I'll move my elevator up. Let's put it back in manual. Or let's put it back um, center, neutral. There you go. So the servos are good. Okay guys, so now we're gonna put our, our wing fuselage. And I went ahead and I used some more of this packing tape to reinforce where the wing joins together here, make it a little more stronger. So um, before we put the wings on, let's put our barbecue skewers in. So I told you I went ahead and uh, I'm already marked my holes. So uh, all I gotta do is put them in. Like so. So we got the wing on, everything is all centered, but we have to check our center of gravity once again to see if the CG is right. So before I do that, I'm going to need some server extensions. So 
So I'm going to connect my servos to my servo extension. See right there. So the center of gravity, or my center of gravity is, let me see. I'm balancing the airplane with all my electronics with the battery on top. So center of gravity is right there. All right guys, so the aircraft is all done. I went ahead and made some final adjustments. So my wires for my servos, they were long enough once I, I put the receiver in place. So I no longer needed the extensions for the servos. All I did was uh, put my ESC, push it back a little bit. So I had enough, I had enough room for my ESC right there. So once uh, I mounted the receiver, it was enough length for me to connect everything together. My battery is all also mounted and ready to go. All I gotta do is put my, my prop on and take it out to the field for the maiden flight. Once again, guys, I thank you very much for watching my video. If you find this video helpful, please like, Please leave a comment. Thank you once again. See you next time.